This is a little video tutorial about controlling an analog synthesizer using voltage sent by the Macintosh computer. Uh, this is exactly the same stuff that I was doing at the beginning of the 80s using the Apple computer, Apple II computer with the mounting hardware digital to analog converters. Uh, this time, however, we're using a Motu Ultralight uh, 3 uh, interface to do the analog control. This, as far as I know, is the only type, or Mark of the Unicorn interfaces are the only type that can do a DC output, which is the one needed for analog control at the synthesizer end. Um, I'm using, for this demo, I'm using a handy little synthesizer box from Pittsburgh Modular, uh, which contains oscillators and VCA and filter all included. But this should work with any analog synth, Euro Modular or Surge modular, whatever you've got. So the, the thing we need to send from the Macintosh end, and I'm using the Max MSP software for this, or Max 6 software as it happens, is we need to send a gate to switch the envelope on at the Pittsburgh end and then we need to send a pitch and if we want to control the overall velocity we need to send an overall velocity value this is also handy so gate velocity and pitch so we switch on the digital analog converters in max 6 and we switch on the gate this value to one and this will switch our synthesizer on at the Pittsburgh end or switch the gate off with a zero at the max end and then at the max end once we switch the gate on we can give different values to change the pitch zero the value zero will be the original pitch that the oscillator is tuned to and 0 0.240385 will give you an octave higher and anything between will just give you a glissando until you get to the next octave and then up to the next octave. And you can go four octaves up and if you go in the minus direction you can go four octaves down. So eight octaves of pitch is a pretty good range to be able to use. Now if we go to a slightly more sophisticated little sequencer. We can control pitch, portamento, velocity and duration all in the one patch. And we can, the portamento of course is summed, it's a line, uh, line tilde uh, object summed into the main pitch so that that gives you a glissando from one pitch to another. So we'll switch the little loop on. We we'll use different kinds of pitches. And we can use a different tempo if we want. 
this is just reading through the values in the table in the table objects, not table objects, they're multi-slider objects. And how does it work in terms of hardware? It's very simple. I've got coming out of the motto, I've got one cable which is uh, from a jack socket through to a mini jack plug which is controlling the one volt per octave. Then I've got a second cable coming out of the interface which is going to control the overall velocity. I'm using a low-pass gate to do that in VCA mode. And then I've got a third cable coming from the back of the interface which is going to the gate input which on the Pittsburgh is called env in here. So those are the three connections which are needed to do this particular kind of control for one oscillator. And of course the base pitch of the oscillator because this is analog has to be controlled here at the tuned here to some sensible pitch and the length of the envelopes attack decay and final decay have to be controlled at the synthesizer module so happy